Hello guys, I am the Keg Man. Welcome to Keg Man Plays and welcome back to the European Pub Crawl here at Arfin Hoppersport for a third season. Yeah, yeah, we're here for another season. I know, I'm I, I'm literally just as shocked as you are. Okay, it's not for lack of trying. I have been trying. Believe me, I've been trying to leave the club. Um, not because I don't like it. I actually really like the club, but... It is ultimately a journeyman. We do need to move on and get around places. And it hasn't happened yet. We keep getting turned down. Um, so we we need to work things out. But let's have a look at our boss for now, our Boris Johnson here. Slack personality. About right. About right. Uh, he has his Continental Pro license. We have finally got all of our badges. Uh, you'll also notice our reputation is a wonderful 35%. It has taken a huge, huge increase let me just hide this you don't need to see that uh, you might want to see it though at some point <laughs> it's horrible um i will talk in detail about that if you want me to you have to let me know in the comments if you want to know what the naga chili beer for it's about let me know in the comments um our reputation's at 35 percent uh five percent of that is because of the fact we have got our pro license the main thing however is that we lifted the title last year we won the league in our second season at Arvin Hoppersport, thus getting promotion. Uh, that gave us a 15% boost in reputation, a huge, huge boost, um, and has meant that we are possibly in the shop window for a few more clubs now. Um, we have got the issue where clubs just, like, they, you know, you, you kind of what we're looking for, but your reputation isn't high enough. So we, we do need to maybe be a bit more realistic about the clubs we're going for, and we'll we'll work it out we'll work it out but we are getting there with the languages we are russian good and turkish good so we have been here for nearly three years now and we still can't speak fluent turkish which is incredible uh we want a tiny tempo pressing game we sign players of high reputation we prefer not to sign older players um there are certain preferences about we have changed the formation um we will look at that uh now this is the formation we are now using we dropped our center mids Back to the DM role. Uh, we've changed them both to Segundo Volantes. Don't really have the players for it, but it has been working. Um, we're not doing brilliantly in the league, but we're definitely not fighting for relegation currently. So looking at the league, you can see that we are in ninth place. We have played 13 games. We are four games away from being halfway through. Certain teams have played two games more than us. Some teams have played a game more than us. But the main thing is we are not fighting relegation. There isn't much between us and relegation at the moment. Only f uh, six points between us and the relegation zone. There's only three points between us and the playoffs, however. Um, we are a lot further away from top of the league than we are bottom of the league, realistically. Um, actually, there's not much in it. 13 points and 15 points. Actually, yeah, we are. Um, but it would be nice to hit playoffs this year. I mean, I dare to dream. I dare to dream. I can dream a dream. Um, but yeah, we, we may possibly be out against the playoffs. The team are now firing. Um, we started off a little bit poorly. So we had an opening game, we had a win. Uh, a six Shehespo, uh, we lost to. And then we had another loss and another loss. We got a win, then got another loss. And we're currently, league-wise at least, on a bit of an unbeaten streak. We have gone seven games without losing in the league. Um, that is down partly to the fact that the team is now working together as a unit. They weren't before. Um, we've done okay in the, in the Cups. We got through the third round and the fourth round. We're currently in the fifth against Galatasaray. And now we lost 1-0 in the first leg to Gala. We're probably going to get smashed in the second leg. Uh, so I believe that our Cup journey is over. But we've done okay. In all honesty, I, I would consider a 0-1 at home in a game that we got dominated in against Galatasaray, arguably the strongest team, if not like one of the top three strongest teams in the league. That is a great result for a newly promoted team. That is a fantastic result. Hopefully we don't get embarrassed uh, away. But I can't promise anything. Uh, Transfer-wise, we've done a lot. We've done a lot in the way of transfers. We've brought in a lot of players. We've moved on a lot of players. Is your typical sort of keg transfer window for a newly promoted team where I just go, right, you, you've done really well to get here, but you're all shit. Let's, let's just move on. <coughs> and I brought in other players as well. However, I, I did have a bit of a 
I did have a bit of a moment with a couple of players. So you'll see here, uh, Bardo Richmond, we brought him in and sold him. I'm only allowed one foreign goalkeeper, and I found a better goalkeeper later on. Yeah, so we brought him in, sold him. That's one of them. Uh, we brought in this guy here, Suleiman Gunas. We spent £23,500 on him. Striker. Um, I then sold him for 14.25 because I found a better striker. Yeah. And finally, uh, Talha Arisat Bulut. We had him on loan last season. We got him on a free transfer. And then I sold him because I found a better striker. Problem is, the striker I signed isn't joining us until January. So I've got an entire uh, half season shall we say, without four strikers. I've only got three strikers. If one gets injured, that's it. I've got two strikers. I play a two-striker system. I've got no one in my reserves team. This is who I have. But he's going to be coming in, and he is a monster for this level. Um, hopefully, it won't take too long to settle in and bed in, um, because it has taken us a little while to get the team back into a positive, with dressing room atmosphere, a positive in team cohesion. A few players unhappy. It's fine though. We'll we'll get through that. It's fine. We will get through it. So yeah, we we are in a good position uh, financially. We're not. We're fucked. Um, but otherwise, financially, we're good. The board are mostly happy with us. We're on a, a B. I've never gotten a B before. How could this have happened? I feel so dirty. <laughs> the dirt's not coming off. Uh, so I don't know how we're on a B when everything's been positive. Fighting bravely against relegation, we reached the fourth round. Possibly could go for the next round if we get a win against Galatasaray, which we won't. We have had a youth intake as well. Supposedly a real golden generation with all of this yellow here. Um, it's very unlikely it's a golden generation. And if it's a golden generation, it's a level we're at. I do feel really bad. But this team is not going to be that good. Anyway, we are going to get into a game. We're going to play again here against Fatty Karagmruk. Them. Car we're going to call it Karag. We're going to call it Karag. Um, we're going to go with this team. This team has been doing bits for us. I'll double check to make sure the selection device hasn't changed. Andre Frias for Ridvan. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Andre Frias is one of the amazing uh, signings we picked up. This young Uruguayan here. Um probably could develop into a fairly good player if he was at a better club uh, than ours. Uh, so, that's who we're going to go with. This is the team we're going to go with. We've got our new players, a nice shiny new team. Uh, Kara are 17th in the league, so I'm hoping for a nice win here. Um, depending on how other games go, this could see us leapfrog um, Bolaspor, for example, who are playing later on. But we could leapfrog Bolaspor, maybe a couple of other teams, and get back into the playoff zone. It would be really nice to get a back-to-back -back promotion if I have to stay here. I am applying for jobs. Trust me, I'm applying for jobs. But let's get it. Oh, Christmas tree. Wow. I haven't seen that for a while in game from the opposition. Cool. Like it. Right. Let's get the dressing room sorted out. I expect them to keep our run going. I expect them to do better than that. We, you know, than we are. I do need wins. We need wins. Let's go for it. First highlight of the game is a corner. There is free ass. Oh, off the crossbar. And Chakar makes it 1 0. Early doors. Early doors. Been a very quiet first half, other than the goal. Uh, this is the only other highlight we've had so far. Uh, Slepov plays it back to Avrantis. Uh, Russia gets dispossessed massively by Ridvan uh, Erzkaraman. Good ball through to Alcate, and it's a great save from Claude, the goalkeeper. The Belgian, the big Belgian there. Here's a corner, unfortunately. Uh, Furkan Kaya swings it in, gets cleared to Mohamed Aslantas. Uh, Chaka, short one back, Rocha over the top to Metahan. Metahan Murtoz nearly did test the keeper there. Did test the keeper. Nice on target here. Right, so we're going into the second half. They've only had two shots and two on target. We've had nine and six. We've had 69% of the possession. This is ha this has been our game. Um, chances are we're going to lose. Because that's just how FM's been treating me recently. We'll see. We'll see. The luck modifier hopefully gets turned back on. But we'll see what happens. Okay, throw in Rocker to Metahan. Rocker again. I don't know if it's Rocker or Rocha. He's Portuguese anyway. Uh, Chaka hits it. 
second bite of the cherry. No good. No good. Now, I do know I have some Portuguese followers. Please tell me if it's Roca or Rocha, that name. And that is 2-0. Mohamed Arslantas, again, absolute beast. He was great for us last year. 23 or 24 goals last year. Currently on eight this season, which is not bad for a, play, uh, for a player who's stepped up a league. Right. Ali goes for the long ball. There is Ibrahim over the top to Chaka. Straight down to keep his throw. That's a weird cross. Someone should have been here. Someone should have been here waiting for something. Yusuf. Oh, is it free? Is it free? No, it's a scramble in the goal area. Corner. Metahan. And a red van. Ozcaraman on the run. Getting tracked back. Oh, it's a missed tackle. It's a second. That's a penalty. Oh, it's a goal kick. Thank God for that. Get creative for this corner. Yusuf. Try something. I don't know what he was trying. There is free ass though. Uh, the young Uruguayan. Plays it through to Slepov. That's a ball over the top. Aslantas doesn't quite get to it properly. We still have possession, however. That is a great ball to Ibrahim. Ibrahim! Straight down Ali's throat. Uh, so Ibrahim Kosa needs to come out for Zephyr Ergen. Uh, who else? Yusuf can come out for... Kels no, for Ridvan. For Ridvan. And finally, uh, Arvanitas can be dropped for Ersan Yasser. Get some fresh legs on this pitch. Ali, long ball forward. We have stolen it. There is Russia to uh, Ifem. Claude, back to Ersan. Bingo finds Slepov. That's a ball down to Mohamed Arslantas. It's a good long range effort. Really should have tried something else, though. That's a little bit much. That is a little bit much. All right, demand more. Coming through for the last few minutes of the game, we've dominated this team. We have dominated this team. It would be nice to see a little bit more. Maybe another goal. Metahan. Ball across. That is 3-0. There is Mohamed Arslantis. Get in. Ninth goal of the season. I wanted that extra goal. We not look, we're not looking great with goal difference at the moment. So getting another goal here may be the difference in the future. It certainly was the difference when we won the league last year. Right. Team talk. Well done. Well done, you. Let's continue on. Mohamed, well done, Mohamed. So we probably should, I, I mean, we touched on it briefly. I probably should show you the league from last season. So this was the league last season. This is when we won it. As you can see, Titer Venner Ducks are 69 points, 69 points, 69 points, 66 and 63. Now this came down to the last day of the season. Um, we had to win our game. Kasiaka had to lose their game. Alte had to either lose or draw. As it turns out, Alte drew. Karsiaka lost, and we won. Uh, goal difference was the difference there. Um, and it was a, a wonderful celebration on the stream. Um, which I'm pretty sure the editor, Andy, will be chucking in for any second now. They brought one back. And if yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Get in! <laughs> oh, thank fuck for that. It was, um, it was good. It was good. We made a very, very hard job of it. We did make a very hard job of it. But if you would like to see that sort of thing live, you should be following me over on Twitch when we do go live. I am live Monday nights, Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, and Friday nights over on Twitch from roughly seven o'clock. Uh, it does depend on work, but you should be following me on Twitter to find out when we do go live. You should also drop into my Discord. There'll be links for all three down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do click that like, uh, click the subscribe button. I'll get me words out right. Click the subscribe button and the like button. It really does help the video along. Anyway, guys, I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>